solid fill. Let's take a look at some of the other hatch patterns that we can use besides a simple pattern. We'll go ahead and draw some shapes so we can fill them in. I'll create three rectangles. And now I'll go ahead and hatch them. I'll select the hatch command. Right now I have gradient selected. And there you go. I put a hatch in that area. I'll change the colors. I can also change the angle still that the hatch is displayed with. We haven't really gone into hatch transparency, so we'll cover that later. We can also change the origin if we needed to. And now let's go ahead and close this and create another hatch. I can change this from gradient to solid. I can pick my solid color, which right now it's Scion. I can select the area and fill it with the solid area. As you can see now, I don't necessarily have a hatch angle. I'll go ahead and close to accept that as my value for my hatch. I'll start another one. And this time, let's just go back to a pattern which we've been using so far. I'll go ahead and select this area here. And as you can see, it used the pattern that I already had selected, which is ANSI 38. And now I added a color to it, which we haven't been using just yet. I'll change this to red. And there you go. Remember, we can still set the origin, adjust the scaling, change the angle, explore a little bit about hatch transparency, which we'll cover later. And we still have various other options over here that we have not yet explored. Let's change the hatch pattern. adjust the scale maybe to a 0.5 tab and our hatch pattern is now visible remember you have lots of properties to change for your hatching to add variety and to effectively convey what you need to for your pattern or your design